In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to incorporate generative AI capabilities with Pandas AI. So Pandas AI is a Python library that adds generative artificial intelligence capabilities to Pandas, which is a very popular data analysis and data transformation tool. It gives the freedom to directly ask questions about your data set. So currently, only OpenAI is supported, but pretty soon uh, Google's Palm API will get incorporated as well. Now, before getting started, make sure that you have an OpenAI account first. And if you're a new user, you can simply go to openai.com and simply uh, create an account. I'm going to log into my account first. So here I'm going to click on API. All right, so here I'm going to click on View API Keys. And I'll click on Create New Secret Key to uh, create a new API key. All right, so I'll name the API key demo. Now here I'm going to copy the API key to my Python script. And use the pandas AI Python package. So we need to install the uh, library using the command pip install pandas AI. Now in terms of the data set I'm going to use, here let me paste the URL. All right, so I'll be using this uh, unemployment insurance weekly claims for Bay Area counties. And I'll link the link in the description below. All right, so here if I simply go to export, I will export the uh, file. And let's open the, uh, let me open the file and we can view the uh, table first before we dive into the uh, tutorial. All right, so it's a very uh, simple data set. We have four counts. The first count is going to be the uh, date range. And the second count is going to be the county. Then we have the unemployment insurance claims number. And I'm not sure uh, what PUI stands for. Let me take a look. All right, so PUI is going to be a breakout of the number of weekly pandemic unemployment uh, insurance claim. All right, so going back to my Python script. All right, so first I'm going to import the libraries. The first one is going to be pandas library. Then I'm going to import pandas AI class from the uh, pandas AI module. And increase the font size. Now to connect to OpenAI API. So from pandas AI, the LLM stands for large language model. The OpenAI, we need to import the OpenAI class. Now this one's optional. But I want to uh, import the model base first. Here, let me go ahead and run the uh, code script. All right, so here if I print the members of the uh, base module, If we focus on the base members, which is going to be uh, these two here. So as I mentioned before, currently only OpenAI is supported, but I can see that uh, pretty soon, hopefully pretty soon, Google's Palm Language Model hopefully will get uh, incorporated as well. All right, so let me delete this line here. All right, so here we can um, specify the uh, OpenAI model that we want to use. And for simplicity reason, I'm going to use the GBT 3.5 uh, Turbo model. And if I want to use the same model that ChatGBT is currently using, which is going to be the GBT4 model, then you can uh, change the model ID to GBT4. But the drawback is that if you are using GBT4 model, then the performance is going to be uh, slower and the token usage is going to be a little bit more expensive. Now to load the uh, OpenAI model, so here we can reference the OpenAI class. Then we need to uh, provide the API key and specify the model. Now if we simply just want to use the default model, which is going to be the GBT 3.5 Turbo model, if that's the case, then you don't need to uh, specify the model. So here we'll name the outputs LLM, stands for Large Language Model. Then I'll create my Pandas AI object. Now, noticing here, if you are using GBT4 model, then you can make the AI as uh, conversational. All right, so that's going to be the uh, procedure to load 
the open air model. Now I'm to load my data set. Alright, so here let me do this. I'm simply going to copy paste my code snippet. And this line here is going to load the uh, data set from the data SF website. Alright, so here uh, let me run this code block to uh, load the model. Download the data set. Alright, so if I print diff data, and it's going to return 657 rows and four counts. Now, use the Pandas AI library to answer your question in terms of your data set. So here I'm going to create a variable called pump. So this is going to be the question that you want OpenAI to answer when it comes to uh, regarding your data set. Now, for example, let's say I want to know the top five counties with the highest UI claims in year 2020. Then I can send the request using pandas AI that run, and I'll provide my data set followed by the pump. Now, if I go in the run these two lines, it looks like the API code is complete. Now, if I print df response, and it's going to return a data set that gives me the five counties with the highest UI claims in year 2020. Now, just for a verification purpose, and here let me, it should be this file now, this one. Here let me close the system file. All right, so I did create a file that gives me the summary using pivot table. Now it's for uh, verification. If we look at the top table, from the county count, so this five items is going to be the uh, five counties with highest UI claims in year 2020. And if we compare the result from the response, and it should be uh, identical, except that from the response, we have the uh, claims number. Now you can also uh, use Pandas AI to plot uh, graphs. Now for example, so here I'm going to create another prompt. Now for this prompt, I'm going to say, create a bar chart show the UPI claims in 2021st for each county. And for the top three counties, I want to highlight the bars in different colors. I also want to save the graph as a PNG file. Now here, uh, let me put this side by side. And I'll go ahead and run the API code for uh, this pump. It looks like the request is finished. And for some reason, I don't see the uh, the chart that get created. Right, so let me see, prompt two. Okay, so I think I know why. Right, so if we look at the prompt that I provided before, so here I uh, have this uh, new line that divide the uh, request between request number one and request number two. Now let me run the request. And right here's my bar chart with the uh, top three counties highlighted in different color. And here's the uh, PNG file that I created using Pandas AI. So just keep in mind that when you are providing your prompt, uh, there's gonna be a new line uh, between each request. So overall, I think it is a pretty good tool to help people to analyze their sets, especially for people who are not very technical or people who are not programmers. For more complex analysis, I would probably recommend that you write the script yourself. Just because uh, currently I don't think OpenAI is capable of performing extensive complex data analysis. Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this video a like and click on the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.